Hey everyone, welcome to the RLT podcast where we share some real life tools, tips and tricks to help you not only discover but also reach your ultimate goals. The whole point of this exercise and of this, uh, you know, episode tonight, and I'm actually going to listen to this back every once in a while to remind myself of this content because I think it's actually extremely profound, is that the the point of this is that you cannot do this overnight, and most people that choose to make a change in life do it way too abruptly. Um, so we're actually coming out of that uh, from 2020 now. A lot of people had to learn how to adapt. I mean, I found it particularly tough as well that I was just completely out of my comfort zone. And you're quite right. I mean, usually if you think about breaking habits and developing better habits and starting um, positive and healthy habits, those are usually things that people try and address at the end of the year, beginning of the new year. You know, we call it New Year's resolutions. And they usually don't last. It's almost like you bite off more than you can chew coming into the year. It's something that I absolutely struggle with so much that I feel that this progressive extremism concept could really apply to that as well. It could really, really help me and help me break free from that thought process of just saying, you know what, I'm still young. I don't really have to stress too much about what I eat. I've tried it before. I've tried the whole diet and eating healthy thing and all that, but it just doesn't really work for me so I want to start eating healthier but not going on a diet right so understand when I say this is that we all want to eat healthy and all that and it's very simple and easy to come into a new year and just look back and to say this is the year this is the year that I'm going to do a full body transformation this is the year that I'm going to join a a gym program as opposed to just taking a, a taking on a diet or something like that I really want to find ways to alter the way that I live for over an extended period of time. And when I say extended, I mean for the rest of my life. And that's sort of what progressive extremism focuses on. So it's not saying this year is your year. It's working out a lifetime goal for yourself and saying that I want to start today and I want to you know, sort of force new habits in my life that will get me to that goal, you know, in the next five years, in the next 10 years, but that will also be sustainable over the next 20 years or 30 years when it comes to, and that's just diet and eating healthy. But you can apply that, as you mentioned, to exercise. Yeah. You can apply that to a lot of the bad habits that you have in your life as well. You know, there's an overwhelming amount of research that shows that diets don't work. And I'm really sorry if there's people listening to to this that develop diets please stop lying to the people <laughs> the problem with diets is it puts you in that extremism position immediately again it's too much of a shock so what happens with a diet is you deprive yourself from everything that was good in your life as far as eating habits are concerned and you just have to stick it out for like a temporary period of time to lose as much weight as possible for, again, a temporary period of time. And then you reach a goal and the diet was now concluded as successful. But again, the whole point of progressive extremism is not to try and get this immediate impact and then it's not going to last. It's the whole point of actually removing bits and pieces of the bad habit to a point where you actually only start doing the right things. By the way, we're giving away a free five-step personal budget template that will help you take control of your financial goals. So just head over to rltstudios.com, sign up for our newsletter, and we will get that right over to you. So head over to rltstudios.com, and we will see you in the next episode. Until then, cheers.